Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this finally Friday, April 8th, for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, officials are searching for a missing person, Michael Adams. Now, it seems Michael Adams was last seen on March 17th at approximately 6 a.m. on foot on Forest Road 34 near the Sitgraves National Forest boundary with the Coconino. Adams was carrying a backpack at the time. He was last heard from by telephone on March 18th and advised that he was on a back road outside of Winslow and was trying to make it back to Winslow in order to get a ride to Flagstaff. Uh, they say Adams is known to have friends and family in the Flagstaff, Phoenix, and Second Mesa areas. Adams may have been hitchhiking on State Route 99 south of Winslow. He was last known to be wearing gray sweatpants and a basketball-style jersey. If you have any information about Michael Adams, you're asked to please contact the Coconino County Sheriff's Office and they can be reached at 928-774-4523, or 1-800-338-7888, or you can call Silent Witness at 928-774-6111. In other news, more than a dozen prospective employees interested in working in the forest industry in northern Arizona met with employers for a different kind of job recruitment fair last week. For the third year running, Ironwood Forestry's Forestry Recruitment Field Day included interview skills development, a nine-mile hike, and enjoying lunch while mixing with employers in the forestry industry looking for hardworking, durable employees. Eli Jensen is the owner of Ironwood Forestry, and his business focuses on services that include taking inventory of trees in a forest, marking timber, conducting research, and more. Now, his bread and butter, he says, is building on government forest management contracts, and the work requires long hours, is physically demanding, and has a high turnover rate among employees. Now, he wondered if he might stem that turnover rate. He said, when my company grew to the point where I needed to start hiring crew members, start hiring my own people, I needed a way to determine that they were going to be uh, prepared for the challenges of uh, the production forest work. Uh, Jensen went on to say, so we started this field day, which has physical, a physical comp component to it. It's been a really a good metric in the past three years. Recruiters immediately wanted to be part of that field day, and it has grown a little bit each year. Now, uh, John Stoltensall, a uh, business retention and expansion manager for the Economic Vitality Division of the City of Flagstaff, said that the field day is really an excellent example of innovation in an industry uh, position for future growth. Now, he went on to say, from a workforce development perspective, the event demonstrates empowered creativity in a unique way that serves as a fitness test, a compatibility test, and a personality test all at once. Stoltensall added that even though there were no actual tests given, the prospective employees learned a lot about themselves and others with whom they spent the day. Stoltensall also said that from a business perspective, Jensen is getting people interested in the forestry industry in an area which is growing. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, you can expect a warming trend to continue through the weekend. A pattern of change is coming, though, early next week, with southwest winds increasing on Monday and Tuesday, and much cooler temperatures, light rain, and snow will be possible, mainly in the north. A complete report on your Rim Country 7-day forecast is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. 
But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona, Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling with the Old County Inn and Pinewood Tavern. So we've been using True Lucas and Brandt probably for the last four years. They've been really awesome to work with, um, Amy and Marguerite. They do everything now from pretty much all of our payroll needs, pay all of our taxes. They even help us uh, on Fridays to pick up our checks, which is great since they're local. But I pretty much use them for everything. They've been awesome to work with and they take off all the things I don't have to worry about as far as taxes go so I can concentrate on my business. But as for now, they're pretty much doing all of my personal taxes, all of our payroll needs, all of our business taxes, and very affordable and just awesome to work with. And they're local, so we really appreciate them and they've been a great partner with us so far. Well, time now for a look at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast. We'll just focus on the weekend outlook first, as it is really the most favorable. Now for the weekend, a strong high pressure ridge is gonna build in with a pretty nice warming trend in temperatures today into the weekend. Temperatures look to be 10 to 15 degrees above normal for much of our rim country area. Winds will decrease with mainly light east to northeast breezes, and this will be uh, the weekend actually to get outdoors and enjoy the forest with the relatively dry air mass still in place, you can look though for overnight lows to remain a little on the chilly side, so don't be discouraged if it's just a little chilly in the morning. Now uh, lows will moderate a bit through the weekend and they'll do that as moisture begins to uh, creep in ahead of our next potential weather system. Now this is not however the weekend to do any planting even down in the valleys. A big change in the pattern occurs next week. A long wave trough is going to develop over Canada and it's going to dig southward across the west and uh, the west coast that is bringing a much colder air mass and falling heights and we mean much colder air mass. There remains uncertainty on exactly how far south this trough will dig which is resulting in a large spread in high temperature forecast on Monday and Tuesday. Nonetheless, Temperatures will drop from our warm and pleasant weekend to well below normal. Now this system's main impact looks to be wind. Southwest gradients will really increase Monday afternoon through Tuesday with the potential for some very strong winds overnight Monday into Tuesday afternoon. Now uh, this weekend will be a good time to secure any loose items and bring in any temperature sensitive plants if you combine the winds with the much colder temperatures, uh, you can expect it to feel a whole lot colder as wind chills on Monday will be at or below freezing for much of the higher terrain. Now overnight lows will really drop off Wednesday morning with even the lower uh, elevations dropping into the upper 20s to lower 30s. So cover any sensitive vegetation and bring in any sensitive plants that you may have because again we're going to get one more big blast of cold coming through. Precipitation chances are also pretty low confidence. The potential for a more northerly track is still out there which would take the colder air and limit snow accumulations. Too far south and we'll miss the moisture and only see the cold and wind. Now, for now we do still have rain and snow chances in with the potential for around an inch of wet melting snow across the high terrain and that's mainly above 6,500 feet or so with around one to two inches possible above the 7,000 foot elevation. Now beyond Monday and Tuesday the pattern returns to zonal but breezy westerly flow with the potential for another system late next week into the weekend so stay tuned for that and we'll keep you updated. Meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should be looking something like this. 
In Payson today, you can expect sunny skies with a few light breezes and a high near 80. Tonight, clear skies in the forecast with some continued light breezes and a low in Payson right down around 47 degrees. Now, as we look up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes, a little different up there. It'll be sunny up there today, too, but their high today will only reach about 67 degrees, but the winds up there are going to be a lot more significant. Now, the National Weather Service says on top of the rim today, yeah, you can expect uh, northeast winds running 8 to 13 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Tonight, those winds will lighten up uh, just a little to a few light breezes with a low up on top of the rim dropping back to around 43 degrees. Now quite a bit different as we head down south into Tano Basin. Just a few light breezes under sunny skies down there today, uh, but they're uh, expected to have a high warming up to around 90 degrees and the low down there tonight dropping back to near 55. However, by next Tuesday, the high down here in the basin, it should only hit about 68 degrees. And again, it's going to be 90 today, so quite a, a swing uh, colder as we move in uh, to the first part of next week. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great weekend. Thanks for watching.